Hey, what's going on? This is Val here from Dad Solopreneur. And I uh, just wanted to do a quick uh, little tutorial on how to open an SRT file and just kind of how, you know, you can uh, create your own from scratch as well. They're not that difficult to create and they have a lot of benefits if you do um, video stuff. Uh, if you do YouTube, for example, um, you can basically create your own and upload them. Now, you know, one of the benefits of creating your own uh, is that if you do this in multiple languages, it's easier to create uh, to translate the uh, SRT file once you have already created the um, the subtitles for one specific language. For example, you can uh, you know use something like Google Translate, or you know it's just easier, faster to already have uh, existing text in one language that you can um, basically translate into multiple languages. So that's one of the big benefits. Uh, but let's get to this. So um, let's see how to open an SRT file, basically. Uh, so I went ahead and downloaded uh, an example one, so you can kind of see. Um, let me take a look over here. So uh, let's look at take a look at this bottom one. This is an SRT file, and uh, normally you won't be able to open this. Uh, uh, you know standard application so the easiest way is if you uh, just right click on it you can open it with notepad or what I recommend is actually this little app that's actually free if you uh, search it up on the internet it's called the notepad notepad plus plus so this is what I'm going to be selecting here and this is the easiest way to open it uh, you know, uh, normally you won't, your, the .srt extension is not going to be recognized. So uh, you can always use a uh, regular text editor for that and open it up. So this is how it looks like basically. And and here's um, what an SRT file looks like. Um, so uh, let's take a, take a look at the next slide here. So how would you, how can you convert a text uh you know, and the text that or a transcript that you might have into an SRT. And so what I have here is that the easiest way is to use the text editor, of course, that I just mentioned, and just simply rename the ex the file's extension. So, um, so basically, uh, and so basically, let's just say that you uh, have your transcript already. I'll give you more specific example of how the format is and everything, but just to kind of show you this particular point here. And how you can convert any regular text into uh, or text file into an SRT is let's say that you have you know just a blank notepad document and you have your all your transcripts here. Uh, and I just type something in real quick. Let's just say that all your basically your uh, transcript of whatever the video's uh, spoken words are, you have a transcript of it here then the easiest way to turn this into an SRT is just to save it as an .SRT. And, um, and, it, and you save it, typically you would save it as a uh, text file. And just uh, put this here. Let's just call it my cool transcript. And it's, you know, that's, that's basically what it is. Just save it. So you would start as a, you know, just saving it as a regular text file, um, and then you just rename the extension. But the uh, there's a very specific uh, way that you use for the extension. So we're gonna be uh, going into that in a little bit here. But just kind of wanted to show you, uh, you know, the real basic way is basically to just start with the Notepad. So um, here's the uh, editor that you would use. Basically, if you have a Windows machine, you just use Notepad or like the uh, other software that I just mentioned, which is the uh, Notepad++, this one here. You can get it for free. And Notepad, of course, comes in already built in with Windows. For the Mac, uh, you can use Text Edit, and pretty much functions the same as uh, the Windows uh, version. Uh, now, here, this is where the uh, the format comes in. Uh, this is basically the format that you use for an SRT file. 
So you have um, uh, on the top, you have a section of subtitles, the number basically. Uh, you have the um, where the the time that the subtitle starts, and then the time where the subtitle ends. Now I want you to pay attention to this. Uh, these two, it's a dash dash, and then uh, uh, greater than symbol. This is very uh, specific, and that's actually something that you need to use when you format your SRT file. So that's part of it. It's part of the of it being recognized as an SRT. So uh, we'll get to that in a little bit more detail, but I just wanted to mention that up front. So after that comes the actual uh, subtitle text. And you know, this is where you would, your uh, the text that appears in the video will show up and what you're going to want to have, and you would have it here. And the, uh, as far as time, this is the, the format uh, that it's in. So you have hours and then you have this colon, minutes, colon, seconds, comma, and then milliseconds. And then I believe actually you don't need a space there. So I'll just correct that here. And so this is how it looks basically down here. So it's hours, minutes, seconds, comma, milliseconds. That's how the SRT is formatted, basically. Now, let me give you a more clear example. Um, you know, all these descriptions here equal to this, basically. So here's your um, uh, your section of the subtitle. Here, the actual number you know of subtitle. Uh, and this is the first section. This is the second section. So in the first one here, you have the time. It starts at zero, zero everything. And then you have again this little dash dash greater than symbol. Looks like an arrow, of course. And then it goes up to two seconds. So this would show up uh, during the first two seconds of your video. And then this is the the actual text that will show up there. So as you can see, it's pretty easy. Uh, pretty common sense so far. This is the second section of the subtitle. It starts at the, the two seconds and one millisecond. And it ends at uh, three seconds. So and this is just another, um, you know, text that would show up around in this time from two to two sec to this two second mark from the two second mark to the three second mark. Now, how do you create an SRT file on the Mac? Of course, you know we touched briefly on that, but basically you use the built-in text edit application. That's the easiest, fastest uh, way to do it, and. Um, Oh, it's it's basically basically the same thing on um, as we're doing here with Notepad or or this other application that I mentioned, Notepad plus um, plus. Same thing with uh, with the Mac. You would open it the same way, and and you you rename it the same way. Uh, so it's recognized as an SRT file before uh, you upload it to either YouTube or Facebook or one of those other places that you know where you're going to upload. Uh, your videos and and their captions basically so um saving the srt file so here's the specific way and how you actually save it so uh you're basically going to have your file name and you're going to need a language code and an srt extension of course and here is an example of the english us language and it's you have to format it this uh, very specific way actually so you have the file name dot en underscore and then the country. Uh, you can look up online to see what the different language codes are for the different uh, languages out there. Uh, but after this language code comes the uh, extension, which is just dot srt. So you have the file name dot language code dot srt. And that immediately uh, formats your regular text file uh, into an SRT once you have the transcripts in there. So um, once again, uh, I'll be providing a free template that you can just download and you can edit. Um, once uh, you get get a hold of that, then you can just, you know, plug in, uh, follow up and plug in all your transcripts in there. And then you would just upload that into uh, YouTube or, or uh, Facebook. And that way you can take advantage of 
you know, creating this from scratch if you need to. Sometimes it's easier to create your own SRT from scratch than uh, because you do have the option to auto generate uh, your captions many times on YouTube, for example, and, and Facebook. I know they do it as well, but um, it's not always perfect, uh, especially if there's some background noise going on in the original video or there's multiple voices overlapping, then the thing gets confused, of course. And so this is one of the ways, you know, sometimes it's easier to just create it from scratch than trying to go uh, and correct everything that was automatically generated. So sometimes it helps to create your own trans transcript, uh, of course. And uh, let's see, I uh, just wanted to kind of show you how this one here was created. I actually downloaded a, a, um, a transcript from a video and it came in as a dot vtt which is another uh, uh, captioning uh, format but um, it, the way it opens up is exactly the same way you right click and open it with notepad or I like the way it formats it here in notepad plus 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 which is what I keep recommending but um, uh, brings in these uh, extra characters here you can just get rid of them and let me actually do it here real quick basically so let's just do this one here which is a copy of that edited notepad plus plus uh, remember again this is a vtt.vtt .vtt file i just get rid of this and then i just let's just say i want to reuse this one on another platform so like if i created this in a specific video platform i can um, use the same transcript uh, srt and just upload it to facebook so let's say i i created it for youtube but then i can use it for facebook or uh, vimeo and some of the other platforms and i don't have to do it from scratch again so i'm just going to create this as an srt And let's just call it my transcript. So here again is the language code, which is dot us. Oh, I'm sorry, it's dot en underscore capital U capital S dot srt. So now I have created my srt file from scratch now i can just upload this into the uh, video platforms as my captions and you're all set